Good morning, ESM. Uh, I bought a 12-pack of kazoos a little while ago and realized that kazoos are a really bizarre instrument. So I looked up some information on them and then wondered what other interesting instruments are out there. And then, boom, it became a shell. I'll have more on that after news and announcements. CEO of Pfizer says a fourth COVID shot will be necessary. Work is currently being done on a shot that would work against all variants and maintain effectiveness for a year. Experts say the protection we're receiving from the third dose is good, but doesn't last very long. This fourth shot would help protect us even more and would eventually turn into an ounce a year shot similar to the flu shot. A Rochester police officer identified as a person of interest in the death of a 9-11 dis 911 dispatcher was found dead in a vehicle hours later yesterday. Police found the officer, Rochester Police Sergeant Melvin A. Williams, dead in a vehicle at Veterans Memorial Park on Calkins Road in Henrietta while they were investigating the death of the 911 dispatcher, Janet S. Jordan. Jordan had worked for the city for the past 11 years and was a 911 dispatcher and instructor in the city's Pathways to Public Safety program. Rochester Mayor Malik Evans described Jordan to the Democrat and Chronicle as beloved and respected colleague. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Girls interested in doing spring track, there is a meeting today in the Hall of Fame at 3.30. Are you interested in a career in education? Come to the first Take a Look at Teaching Club meeting on tomorrow, March 16th, after school in the small cafeteria. Refreshments will be served. Starting off our list pretty tame, we've got the stylophone. Let's go! Like in that one vine. It was created in the UK during the late 60s and went through a revival in the 2000s. Uh, many were sold as toys in the beginning, but they have been used by professional musicians. David Bowie used the stylophone in his song Space Oddity, and I said in an interview that he made the song on one. Next up, we have the Alphorn, the instrument played in the Ricola commercial, which is my favorite brand of cough drops. The German Alphorn was used by Alpine herdsmen and villagers for intercommunication, and was also played at daily ceremonies and seasonal festivals. Then we've got the Sharpsichord, a 46-string acoustic harp played on a pit by a pin cylinder, uh, this instrument was built by sound sculptor and builder of experimental musical instruments, Henry Dagg, who did work for BBC. Now, we were just above freezing this morning with little to no snow, uh, which could be the start of some good weather coming our way, hopefully. So let's head over and check the forecast. As you can see behind me, there's no real snow or rain going on, um, but today is going to be rainy and tomorrow is going to be very warm and partly cloudy. Um, today we have a high of 44 with a low of 34 degrees and tomorrow we have a high of 56 degrees with a low of 42. Right back into it, we've got the hydrolophone, an underwater pipe organ which uses a constant stream of water and the player's fingers to make notes. It was created in 2005 and can be yours for a small payment of $10,000. Next up, we've got one of my favorite instruments, the theremin.
there's no physical contact used to play on this instrument, the musician moves their fingers and hand in small, precise movements around elec an electromagnetic field generated around a horizontal and vertical antenna. And last but not least, my favorite instrument, the sousaphone, also known as singing Tesla coils. produce sound by turning on and off, causing air molecules around, molecules around it to heat up and vibrate. And the music is made by changing the frequencies. Uh, Tesla coils have been around since the late 1800s, but the sousaphone wasn't trademarked until 2007. Now on to sports. Congratulations to Anaya Jones from the girls' basketball team. Anaya made first All-Stars for the Section 3A girls' basketball. Isabel Chavesty, Angelina Polcaro, and Natalie Kwans all were honorable mentions. The girls' basketball team finished with a record of 5 to 15. In upcoming news, the Unified Boys or the Unified Bowling team has a match at home against Liverpool at 3:30. And I'm working with your sports. Unfortunately, I didn't add a video for every instrument just to save time, but a quick Google search will bring up tons of videos to watch if any of you are, or any of these music instruments sounded intriguing to you. That's all I have for y'all today. So from everyone here at The Morning Show, stay classy ESM and stay tuned for tomorrow's show.